Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so in this video we are going to see R2R ladder D2A converter. So now what is the difference between the previous converter and this converter? In the previous converter we have seen the values of the resistance are different but here the values of the resistance will always be the same. So the first very important point is it contains only two resistors that is the value R and the 2R. Now we have seen the circuit diagram of the resistor. In the previous video we have seen the circuit diagram of better resistor network but in this circuit diagram you can see the value of the resistor is nothing but only R and 2R. Every resistance is replaced by R and 2R value. This is nothing but the summing amplifier. This is a feedback resistor. Here is the output and from this value that is A, B, C and D we are giving the input. Now if you can see this is the 4 bit. Why this is the 4 bit ladder type of network? Because here are the 4 inputs that is at A, B, C and D. A is considered as the MSB and towards D it is considered as the LSB. So at the right side of the network it is the MSB and at the left side it is the LSB. So now what we are going to see? Now we are going to apply the different digital inputs and we are going to see what type of the analog output we are getting. Now let us find out the analog output for the different digital input signal. So the first digital input signal is 1000. So what we have done in the ladder network this value that is is this is nothing but the MSB value. The MSB value we will given as a plus voltage because it is the one. So zero level will be grounded and the one level will be giving some voltage value that is the consider at plus V. So at A we have given the value plus V and all the other networks are grounded because all the other values that we, all the other bits are zero. Now after simplifying this network we are getting 2R and 2R. How we are getting this? For example 2R and 2R these two resistors are in parallel. So when same value of two resistors are in parallel the value of that particular resistor or the value of the equivalent resistor after solving this is get half. So that's why 2R and 2R in parallel will give us R and then R and R will again will be in series so it will give us a 2R then again 2R and this 2R will be in parallel so this will give us R and this R and this R again will be in parallel 2R so after 2R and this 2R parallel circuit we will be getting R and again this will be in parallel that is 2R so after simplifying this circuit what we are getting is 2R and 2R these two values are here so after applying here V in that is the output voltage is equal to V what is V? V is the input voltage that we have given at the MSBA V into 2R upon 2R plus 2R here we have applied the voltage divider formula that is the output voltage is equal to the resistance 2R and the voltage across that particular resistance divided by addition of the two resistance so here is the 4R so after simplifying this RR will get cancelled and V by 2 so therefore V in is equal to V by 2 in this way we can easily find out the output of the R2R resistance for the various digital input now suppose the next input is ABCD is equal to 0010 then what will be the value of the V in the value of the V in will be V by 8 now suppose the when ABCD is equal to 0001 then the value of V in will be V V1 by 16 so this is how we can simplify the circuit by using the previous formula what we have to do we just have to simplify the circuit and after that we have to apply the voltage divider formula now suppose the output of the complete d2e converter is calculated by using the summing amplifier equation we know that the summing amplifier equation is v0 is equal to minus rf in bracket v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 plus v3 by r3 plus v4 by r4 now what is the value of v1 the v1 is nothing but a and the value of r1 is 2r V2 is nothing but B and the value of R2 is 4R. V3 is nothing but C and the value of R3 will be 8R and V4 is D and the value is 16R. Now how we have got this value because we have considered V1 is equal to A by 2, V2 is equal to B by 4, V3 is equal to C by 8, 
and v4 is equal to d by 16. So therefore, after replacing this value in this equation, we are getting a upon 2r plus b upon 4r plus c upon 8r and d upon 16r. Now we are going to simplify this. Now let's see the next input is abc is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. Now here, the input is applied over here and the third bit that is the this bit is 1. Therefore, from here first, second and third, this third bit is 1. Therefore, we have given the high voltage value that is the plus V and every other inputs are grounded that is 0 voltage, 0 voltage, 0 voltage and 0 voltage. So, after simplifying this by using the simple calculations of the parallel networks and the series network, what we will get? We will get 2R and this 2R and this R and 2 r so now how we will calculate it at this level at this level b the voltage is plus v and here is the 2r r and 2r so after solving this and after simplifying this we will get v in will remain as it is in here this will be a 2r will be a grounded and this 2r is the nothing but the voltage divided network so here will be the v by 2 and this r will remain as it is so here will be a r and here also will be the r because after simplifying this we will get the r value and this is nothing but the v by 2. So after applying the voltage divider formula what we will get v is equal to v by 2 that is the voltage across this terminal into the resistance that is the 2r this will be nothing but in the series divided by 4r how we have got the 4r this 2r plus r plus r we have got 4r so v is equal to v by 4 so this is how you can simplify by applying the voltage divider formula now since we have seen v1 is equal to a by 2 v2 is equal to v by 4 v3 is equal to c by 8 and v4 is equal to d by 16 we have putting these values in the formula and after that what we are getting v3 by 2 v2 by 4 plus v1 by 8 8 plus v0 by 16 but 2 is nothing but 2 raised to 1 4 is nothing but 2 raised to 2 8 is nothing but 2 raised to 3 and 16 is nothing but 2 raised to 4 so that means v3 corresponds to the msb and v0 corresponds to the lsb value so this is nothing but the final formula for calculating the digital output for applied analog signal so the digital output v0 is is equal to minus in bracket v3 upon 2 raised to 1 plus v2 upon 2 raised to 2 plus v1 upon 2 raised to 3 plus v0 upon 2 raised to 4. The v0, v1, v2 and v3 are the different input levels and this value that v0 will give us the digital value that is the this is why the d2a converter. So thank you friends for watching today's video. In the next videos we are going to see the different type of converters.